And he ran away because he knew that I was behind a wall and there's no way he could have killed me. So anyway, okay, um, I just built a bunker and I'm, I'm actually going to repair the bunker. Okay, um, when, when Terran buildings have been damaged by enemy units, SCVs can uh, repair them and you, you uh, repair the same way you, well, you, you move, basically, you, you uh, left click to select, and then you right click on the building that you want. Well, it, it's tricky with bunkers because bunkers hold units. Sorry, that was a new moment. Anyway, but you, you right click on the building that you want to repair, and if you want your SCVs to automatically uh, start repairing buildings that have been hurt nearby, then you right click on the uh, repair button, and it, and it, um, it auto cast, I, I guess you could say, uh, repair on nearby units, but or er, buildings. So, okay. The purpose of this um, this bunker here is to house marines, and you can put marines or other uh, small Terran units in a bunker, and it protects them, and it also gives them a little bit of extra range to attack any incoming units. And uh, it's nice because you can have an SCV uh, repairing the barracks that units are in so those units don't get hurt. So anyway, okay. I'm uh, kind of getting off track here. There's there's more to cover than I, than I had um, originally planned on. So okay, we did building creation, uh, supply count. Now we're going to scout the map. And you can... Uh, now, um, since we blocked off this... this uh, this entrance, there are two ways to get out of this base right now, and that's either to lower your supply depots, and you can you can do that with all of your supply depots. You can choose to lower them into the ground so your mo so your uh, yes, your sir. units can run over them, but also enemy units can run over them as well. So you have to be careful about that to uh, to uh, not leave your wall down so units can so so enemy units can just come into your base. So okay, you can put those down and back up. And you can also choose to lift off your barracks, and you can move you can move your barracks around, which is which is one of the really really cool things about um, Terran. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna choose to land, and the, the the land button is in the same place as the lift off. So once you're in the air and you want to land again, you land, and you just select where you want to land. So okay, now let's let's go scout the map. Got it. Uh oh. Okay. Sure thing. Um. So yeah, we're just gonna walk around and see what's out here. Hopefully, we don't run into any enemy units. Orders received. Uh oh, what's that? Oh, that, that's just an overlord. Okay. And uh, something in StarCraft 2 that's new is these these uh, Zelnaga watchtowers and. When you have a ground unit close to them, it gives you vision over a wide area, which is really cool. And I would suggest using that to your advantage in games that you aye, aye, play. Sir. So we're going to scout over here. I don't want to spend too much time doing this, but I'm just going to run my marine up into the enemy base sure. oh, yeah. real quick. And I'm going to see what's here and then after I'm done I'm going to assume that you know how to scout now okay well he died because there were <laughs> there were two other units at the base but anyway okay so that's uh, that's how to scout the map and most most players do that very very early on they actually take one of their SCVs or probes or drones and they they leave their base right away and they go and they see what their what their enemies up to so that's that's a good practice to do right away so you know um, Say your other your your enemy is was uh, was a, a random race, so you don't know what they were to start out with. Going and scouting them out early can help you in the game later on, because you know what units are going to be coming at you. So okay, um, so we covered building creation, supply count, scouting the map. Now I want to cover building and unit upgrades. Gotcha. Um, Mineral field depleted. Uh oh. Minerals have been exhausted. That's no good. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, I didn't quite cover how to how to gather um, Vespine gas, and there's a building called a refinery, and you want to build refineries. Bad news. Um. 
on sure both thing. of those geysers. And that will allow you to gather the gas in each geyser. So okay, let's let's go build some supply depots over here. Yeah. Maybe another another barracks or something. Just to just to have some buildings out here to show you what I can do with World each of these. And okay, um once you've started to gather some gas, and I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna take some SCVs from gathering minerals, and I'm gonna tell them to gather gas. Also, the the max number of units that can gather each node of minerals and each each uh, Vespine geyser at a time is three. So you don't want any more than three. But usually, you don't want any less than three on each either, because you're gonna be uh, gathering as many minerals and gas as possible if you have the max number of units on a node, on a mineral node or a uh, geyser. So, whew. lots of information, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, um, I, I uh, covered how to um, build the basic buildings, and by basic I mean the, these are basic structures. These, these mainly only cost minerals but um, some of them can cost some uh, Vespine gas as well, but mainly these cost minerals. These are the like first tier buildings, and the, the barracks is central to Terran, and, and you want to get that out right away. But uh, anyway, now th there's, there's the build structure, and then the build um, um, advanced structure button. So we're going to click that now, and we're going we're gonna to we're gonna click on this button, which is the factory. I'm gonna build a factory, and I'm gonna show you what kind of units I can make. Oh wow, this video's got long. Oh well, that's okay. Anyway, um, tell you what, I think I'm gonna cut this video short. Didn't realize how long I was taking. Um, okay, with the the uh, unit upgrades and the building upgrades, I'm gonna show you some basic. Um, unit upgrades and uh, we are we've selected the engineering bay and here are some unit upgrades there's uh, infantry weapons and infantry armor and um, some other upgrades for your uh, your ground units so we're gonna work we can click on one of those and what that's gonna do is upgrade my Marines um, guns basically so that's that's an example of a unit upgrade and then a building upgrade um, down here. Okay, we we, we uh, uh, let's let's start with the barracks. We we just uh, selected the barracks, and um, you can you can build two things down here. There's a tech lab that will allow you to train special units, or a reactor which allows you to train two units at the same time which is which is really nice so let's build the well, I guess not okay um, sometimes if if you're if there's uh, not enough space for a building upgrade then then you might have to lift off and then you just okay I guess we'll we'll start out with a tech lab and then you just select a place where it'll fit and it lands and it starts building this tech lab and once it's done we can make some special units like marauders or uh, Bad news. I don't know ghosts and stuff like that so anyway um, and then with the, the factory we can build a reactor here and so, yeah, there you go. we can build a starport and build some other buildings so there we go you've you've learned how to build a basic Terran base you've learned how to block your your uh, your base off we built a bunker we built some Marines so building creation supply count scouting the map unit upgrades building upgrades i think that's gonna be all for basic training 102 sorry the video went so long uh i i don't i don't think i'm gonna cut any out because i think that all of this is pretty important but i might i, I might rename the uh, videos anyway <laughs> um so click on the new pure helmet at the end of this video for basic training 103 and my name is Torgon and I'll see you next time.